Okay, guys, so let's get started with trying to get Splunk installed. So if you have a Linux box, let's do that. Let's get our Linux box going. So you can see there's my Splunk installation file. All right, so the first thing you're going to see me do is I'm going to turn off my firewall. Now, the reason that you're turning off your firewall is you want to ensure that your Splunk server can receive the logs that you're sending to it. Okay, then after that, I'm going to do a quick update and upgrade. All right, so now that that's done, I'm going to download this .dev file, and then I'll go ahead and install it. Okay, now that was pretty easy, right? dpkg-i, no problem. dpackage-i for install. So I'm going to cd op splunk bin for binary, and I'm going to jump in there. So now I'm in here, and if you look, you can see this is where all the Splunk monitoring things are, right? The actual Splunk executable, the daemon, Splunk mon, Splunk optimize, right? Pretty much everything's in here for managing Splunk. I'm going to run Splunk and enable it to start at boot time. And now, as soon as I do that, you see how I get my licensing agreement? And hitting my space bar is allowing me to scroll down, and we read it. So I'm going to say yes. It says, hey, this looks like this is your first time running Splunk. Okay, so here you see that it's set up this LDAP, openldap.com, copies it to the right directory, generates my private key. All right, why is this important? When you have your devices sending logs to your Splunk server, that's going to need to be encrypted. So you're going to need to generate your public-private key pair for your Splunk appliance. That's what he's doing right here, right? And now he sets this up, sets up the initialization. That's what the init D is. And then he's moved it in so that you can run at boot time. That's what all that's doing right there. Now, you can run the service command to actually start Splunk. Okay, now, hopefully Splunk is rolling. And now what I want to do is I want to access the web interface for Splunk. And now, it's going to run on port 8000. And I'm going to do this Splunk start command. I already did the service start, and I'm going to do the Splunk start command. We should see a little thing that's telling us that the web interface is running. There we go. There we go. Now it's telling us that the port is open. There you go. Much better. Woo! That's what I wanted to see. Web server is going. Done. Good, good. Okay. Now he's telling me, hey, the web server is up on this IP. Now let's check it. All right, so here I am. I'm looking at this main console. You've got your search section. So if I go to search, this is going to allow me to write queries, right? And now if you notice, he's like, hey, welcome. Looks like it's your first time going through everything. I absolutely love this, right? 